Hi everybody, it's George Platt here down at sax.co.uk. Today we are in the London store, as you can probably see from the different surroundings to the usual videos. Um, today we're going to be talking about things that are all related to cannibal musical instruments, more specifically the customization of their saxophones. Um, really great what you can do with them, we'll go into that in a bit more detail later in the video. Uh, but first of all, I want to start with um, how these videos are going to go, and there's going to be a, a nice series of content coming. Uh, from myself, um, but really we want to make sure at sax.co.uk that we're um, the, the content that we're putting out is going to be relative to you and we want to keep it nice and engaging so if you have any ideas or any suggestions of what you'd like myself or any of my colleagues to go through on these videos please leave a comment below don't forget to do the uh, the obligatory like subscribe follow all that kind of stuff um, you've got your Instagram page as well sax.co.uk where you can obviously see some more videos of content around the shop you might see some some of our colleagues kind of messing around playing some instruments in some funky locations that's Got, we've got some plans to be doing that as well all around the city um, yeah so without further ado this video we're going to be talking about all things customization wise for the cannibals uh, we'll get onto that in a mo I am quite guilty of spending a lot of time on the Cannonball website um, kind of going through all the different options whether that's engraving, semi-precious stones, um, the, the different finishes you can have, you can spend hours on there um, and I'd encourage you to do so, it's a lot of fun. So we've actually been uh, through this process um, and that's how I have the experience to say that it is a lot of fun um, and we have actually got one of the instruments that we've customised ourselves um, in store today so we'll be able to go through that a bit later on in the video uh, so stay tuned. So one of my colleagues actually, um, she she kind of sent off one of these horns. Um, there was a lot of anticipation on the, while we were waiting for it to arrive, and we saw kind of the, the engraving she'd chosen, the finish she'd gone for, um, and miraculously there was an option for her to to pick an engraving which was very similar to the tattoo that she had, which was uh, obviously great for her. Um, and when it arrived, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, I have to admit, not only does it play well, but it looks the part as well. Um, so yeah, kind of moving away from that, we're going to talk about how we can get you involved in designing or customising, whatever you would like to say, your own cannonball saxophone. To begin with, you're obviously going to be pick picking the finish. Um, they've got a whole range of different finishes, as you can probably see on the screen right now. Um, and then afterwards, that's when we're going to go on to the engravings. This is probably one of my favourite parts of the customization process because I'm a sucker for things that look good, uh, especially when it's on the saxophone. So, um, as the engraving is going to be taking up uh, a large portion of the instrument on the bell, um, it's really key that you get that spot on. Um, everybody has their own taste, so there's plenty of different options that Cannonball offer. They have um, a, a tiered process. Um, it's going to be going from tier two to tier five. The tier two are, they're not going to be basic by any stretch of the imagination, but they're going to be a little bit more simplified and they're not going to be so overbearing. Whereas the, the fifth tier, that's where you're going to get your really um, classy engraved um, instruments. And yeah, they're just going to be a bit more astonishing. That's a good word. I might've said it already, but we'll go there anyway. Um, it's worth mentioning that these, uh, they're all hand engraved over in-house over at their, uh, their manufacturing facilities um, in Salt Lake City. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not like these things are being churned out. They're, there's hours are spent on these by hand, going through making sure it looks absolutely perfect for you. All right then, so moving on from the engravings, we've got the semi-precious stones. Um, obviously, I believe once they're put on a saxophone, it makes them way more precious anyway. But uh, moving on from that, they do have lots of different colours for you to choose from. And um, Cannonball are saying that, uh, that it's going to be affecting the way that the instrument sounds as well. Um, so yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? We've, we've got our opinions. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Leave a comment below. So this whole time that I've been rambling on, um, hopefully I haven't bored you yet, we've got the saxophone sat right next to me, so let's have a look. Right then, check out those engravings. Brilliant, so um, this saxophone itself is the Cannonball A5 Stone Series. Um, it is obviously representing the black nickel lacquer. Um, and the engraving is the Storm Chaser engravings. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned the different tiers. This is actually tier four. So it's on the more complex, expensive side, but it looks amazing. Um, moving on to the actual semi-precious stones, uh, we've got um, the White Tiger Calcite here. 
um, they really pop out and it creates a lovely contrast on the black lacquer as well. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourite looks and I think a lot of the guys over here um, would agree. Um, yeah, so what do you reckon to that? Right, so you're probably thinking, how on earth do I get hold of one of these things? So what you need to do is you need to get in contact with one of us here at the store. We can go through um, the engravings you want, the finish you want, and the, the semi-precious stones that you want to put on the saxophone. We can get the whole process underway for you, and yeah, get your saxophone on order. As I've already said, not only do they look the part, but they sound great as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a play, and you can let me know your thoughts below. <laughs> If you've managed to make it this far um, through the video, um, we'd like to say thank you for watching. Um, if you would do us the honour of subscribing, liking, um, and leaving some comments below, really important, as I've, all, as I've already mentioned, we want to know what you want to be seeing, what sax stuff you want to be um, us going through. Um, yeah, we just want to get this uh, nice and interactive and make sure we are providing you with the, the content that you deserve. Okay, cheers.